I've cooked quite a few steaks lately, but just hadn't recorded them. But I figure why not? Let's record a steak. Um, could it do the same procedure that I always do, and that's not being able to get into the Ziploc bag? There we go. Uh, put these guys on, on a rack. They were deep frozen, so. Just now getting out of the, getting more into the viable, pliable situation here. So, got my steaks. It's Wednesday around noon. Oh, I'm planning on cooking these guys uh, Friday night. So, I think it always seems like there's that's just too much. But then when you put them on the grill, half of it falls off. So I'm, I got over that, uh, that fear of putting too much on and then realized that too much is just about enough because these things will just fall right off all this stuff. So, and plus for this step of the process, I'm going to leave it in the fridge like this for two full days, just out like this on a rack. And that will allow the meat to dry up how I want it to. This is basically like a dry age, like a poor man's dry age. I don't have a huge fridge or network of cold places to put these steaks. So I just put them on the top rack of the fridge. Salt it. See how moist this is? So it's okay to put, up, put as much as you think you need. And then you can always double it because... We're trying to get these steaks nice and dry. Try to suck out as much moisture as possible. Try to concentrate that flavor and make them taste better. So, Wednesday noon, these are ready. I'm gonna put them in the fridge uh, and we're gonna uh, cook them in just over 48. I found like 48 hours, a little bit more, maybe another 12, 24 hours. 72 seems to be around the edge of it. But 48 seems to be the sweet spot for uh, dry aging them with this uh, salt on it. This uh, I use the Hamburger Deluxe. I use this on everything. I love this stuff. Use this, cover it, put it in the fridge, and, and in about two days it'll, they'll be significantly smaller. Not too small, but significantly smaller. And they cook better, and they taste better, and this salt, this stuff works great. So in the fridge, and we'll be back on Friday. Okay, it's Friday night. They look really good. I'm going to put them on the grill. The grill's nice and hot and uh, shouldn't be that long. I did. I forgot to take them out, so they're like like right around 30, 32 degrees. So they're going to take a few minutes longer, but that's not a big deal. I have the grill at 500, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, it's on the grill. It's been going for about 5 minutes now. Or no, about 10 minutes now. The uh, temperature is right around 100 degrees. Let's take a quick look. Looking good. They smell really good already, so I know I'm in the right direction. So they need uh, about 12 to 14 more minutes, and then they'll be ready to go. Um, when I took them out of the, I didn't take a picture of them when I took them out of the. Uh, oh no, I did. I had that video. So the. Uh, Shouldn't be that much longer. I'm cooking at around around 510, 512. I like at a really high temperature because it cooks it really quickly and it keeps it juicy. So uh, just the waiting game now. Looks good. Okay, we're gonna flip one more time. They look right. I don't think I ever talked about it. 
friend of mine. He was tired of me seeing me cut all the steaks on a white plate. So he's like, I'm going to get you this uh, cutting board. I thought he was joking, but then he, he had my name, got my name on it, finds me in town. That's when I started living here, so this is a cutting board I use all the time now. I have a, a sous chef right here, lady, just in case I need some help. But this guy looks good. Let's cut this one open first. Temperature looks good. Cuts real easy. Looks great. Okay. Looks good. Tender, a little bit sweet, along with the savory. Very nice. It looks good. My lady's up here trying to get a piece. Looks good. Tastes good. This is my dinner, so I'm going to eat.